Hello. Hey. Um, this is Isela again. I just have uh, this. I'm just sensing to do this video. Um, Lord been ministering to me, uh, teaching me uh, regarding this this grief, 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 G R I E F. <laughs> regarding grief, uh, grief are those wounds, grievances, hurts, um, uh, uh, losses, uh, assumptions. Uh, anything anything that is can cause us to be grieved hurt wounded um uh before i say before i go further i want to say this thing okay i i don't want i don't want to nor is it my nor is it uh my heart to undermine anyone's hurt or anyone's loss i know that there are people that have lost uh that have lost uh family members that have lost very dear and important uh, uh, uh people in their lives uh children uh, uh siblings uh, uh whatever uh, uh, this is not to undermine this is not to undermine at all the loss uh but here's what the lord has been showing me okay here's what the lord has been showing me is when we don't deal with the grief when we don't submit ourselves to the lord and give the grief to god and allow him to heal the wounds uh, it, uh you know god is not mad because people are hurt because of losses god is is not uh uh, uh, uh god, um, listen god is a god of compassion he 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 hurts with us he he loves us uh, i mean what parent would like to see their children get hurt he doesn't but he's still god he is a he he's a good god uh and and he wants to heal us that that's that is his nature his nature is to he to be our healer uh but when we don't allow the 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 Lord, um, when we don't pray and ask Him to heal us, we start carrying the burden of grief, the burden of losses, the burden of assumptions, the burden of wounds, the burden of hurts, the burden of, of people uh, speaking against us, the burden, just burdens. They become burdens. We can even carry people as burdens. Uh, you know, just this week, I, I, I released everything back to God. Uh, I mean, I was, I felt tired. I felt tired and I, and I, and I was just worshiping and, and soaking and I just sensed to give. All of a sudden, I hadn't even planned or anything, but I just got under the mighty hand of God. God, and I gave him my child I gave him uh, um, uh, I, uh, my husband I gave him myself I gave him my ministry I gave him uh, 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 I, had, I had a dream I had a dream I had a dream uh, to have something and I had prayed for that something and 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 I kept not getting what that's something that I've been praying for and and so uh, you know when I was uh, when I was giving everything back to the Lord I said Lord I give you that I give you that dream uh, 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 I'll give you that dream I give you that dream I, I'm not gonna share what that is I'll, uh, I'll probably will but I, that's not what this is about today but I, I but I gave it back to the Lord I said Lord you can have it father God you I, I give it back back to you Lord I give back to you that dream I give back to you that thing that I've been crying for uh, 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 planning for and and all these things I mean I'm I gave him everything because I did not want to carry uh, um, you know there's such a thing as just carrying burdens and the Lord's been teaching me do not carry the burden pray and release it give it back to me so the Lord's been showing me that when we, uh, uh, we, we, we receive that burden of the loss, we receive that burden of things, um, uh, uh, things or people or whatever. And, and you know, the enemy who is, does not play fair, he does not play fair. The enemy does not play fair. Even if it's a loss or of, of a loved one that, that, that went home to be with the Lord that passed, 
The enemy does not play fair. He will even use that. He is a low coward. He does not play fair. And he will use that, and he will use that against you to attack you, to manipulate you, to cause fear, to cause you to walk away from God, to cause you to uh, to offend for yourself, to cause you to be angry, to cause you to drink, <laughs> to cause you to do drugs, whatever it is you want to self-medicate with. Whatever it is that you want to cause uh, yourself to be medicated. Is it food? What is it? For me, when I was in the world, it was alcohol. It was alcohol. Because I was grieved. I had grief. I didn't know the Lord. I believed in Jesus, but I didn't know I could have a personal relationship with Him. So therefore, I carried all this junk, all this drama, all this chaos. For me, it wasn't a loss of someone. It, well, it was, but it wasn't because I went home to be the will of the Lord. It was because of abandonment. It was because of rejection. And that almost nearly destroyed my life. It, if, if it wasn't for God's grace, I would have been an alcohol addict. But I was, but I didn't. Because the Lord had so much grace on my life that he started doing things. And I'm like, it made me think, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I don't stop this thing, it's going to cause more havoc in my life. So I had to stop drinking. And that was before I met the Lord. That was before I knew God. That was just me on my own. That was just common sense. You're going down a wrong path, girlfriend. You're going down the wrong path. I ended up in jail twice. Yeah, you're going down the wrong path. And thank God for his grace. I give myself no credit. I know that God had a plan for my life. And I knew my mom was a praying mama too. And I knew my, my, uh, 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 my uh, great aunt, because my mama tells me my great aunt was a, was a, prayer, uh, a prayer warrior. So I knew someone was praying for me. But let me, let me tell you what the Lord's showing me right now. The Lord's showing me right now that there are people that are grief. You have a spirit of grief that is just taunting you. It is, uh, it is, it is uh, causing you to have headaches. You think they're headaches? Well, you're not. You're being tormented. You don't have headaches. You're being tormented. It's a tormenting spirit because it comes with the grief that you are carrying burdens that do not belong to you. That's what's happening. You are sick in your body, and some of it might be, you know what, I'm not denying the wisdom of doctors, but I'm telling you, some of these attacks on your mind, and some of them on your body, they have to do with the, 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 the grief, the spirit of grief. It is a lying spirit. It is a lying spirit. Okay? So I come, because I, the Lord showing me this, and I come to expose it. And I come to ask you to pray. Release your burdens to God. Release your burdens to God. He is the only one that can heal you. This thing that you've gone through, this loss, it is not a final. It's not final. The, the Lord has the last say. The enemy doesn't have the last say. You don't have the last say. God has the last say. And you know what his word says? That you will live and not die. That you'll have beauty for ashes. A spirit, a garment of praise instead of a spirit of heaviness. That's what the word says. So I speak that over you now. Even as you invite the Lord to remove that grief from your life. I declare over you, double for your trouble. A, a garment of praise instead of spirit of a heaviness. That heaviness that surrounds you is because of that grief that you're carrying. You're carrying a burden. The burden becomes a yoke. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen uh, uh, those animals that carry yokes? Uh, I don't. I forgot what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. 
that's that's what happens to people because they start carrying yokes that do not belong to them those yokes belong to the lord the word of god says my yoke is light and easy jesus told his disciples my yoke is light and easy light 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 and easy light 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 he is not burdensome not in a bad way he does not cause torment the Holy Spirit does not cause torment he does not cause grief he does not cause anger bitterness resentment all those things are caused by grief So I pray that you come in agreement with the Holy Spirit because this is a word that's going to release. This is a word that's going to release. If you believe, if you believe, receive it and ask the Lord. Give the yoke and give the burden back to God. God loves you. God loves you. And he sent this word to say he is all sufficient. He is the all sufficient God. He is the God who sees. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is your healer. Your healer right now in Jesus' name. I just ask you, Holy Spirit, come. Come and heal the hearts. Come and heal the hearts, Father God. Heal the hearts. Pull out the roots of those hurts, Father God. Pull out the roots of the losses, Lord God. Let those yokes and those burdens be released back to you, Father God. You are the one, Father God. You are the one who has taken all that, even upon the cross. Hallelujah. By your stripes, we are healed in Jesus' name. God bless you.